The American Ceramic Society and the Ceramic and Glass Industry Foundation are pleased to provide you with this instructional video for the teacher-led demonstration, Thermal Shock. The objective of this lesson is to illustrate thermal shock and the effects of differing amounts of modifier on the properties of glass. In this demonstration, three different types of glass rods will be heated so that students can observe the amount of thermal shock that occurs. Some of the materials used in this lesson are included in the Materials Science Classroom Kit, while other items will need to be purchased. Those items are commonly found in grocery or department stores. In some instances, it is appropriate for students to bring some items from home, which helps pique their interest. The materials needed for this demonstration are three soda lime glass or flint rods, three borosilicate glass rods, three fused silica or quartz glass rods, a torch head, a small propane tank, ice water. While you are setting up, have the students record their observations during the demonstration. Show the students the difference in color of the three glass rods by looking at the ends. Attach the torch head to the propane and turn on. Heat one end, about one inch, of the soda lime glass rod in the flame. Try to hold the glass rod so that the same length of glass is in the flame throughout the heating. Point out the sodium flare that occurs as the glass heats up. Allow the glass to sag or slump to show softening. Remove from the flame and quench in the ice water. Thermal shock will occur and pieces of glass will break off onto the bottom of the beaker. There will be many fractures throughout the portion that was heated. Heat one end of the borosilicate glass rod in the flame, keeping about one inch of the rod consistently in the flame. Sagging or slumping should be harder to achieve, but the end should fire polish, become smooth or polished. Some thermal shock will occur, but there should be fewer overall cracks than with the soda lime glass. There should be one or two cracks at the interface between where the glass rod was in the flame and where it was not. Heat one end of the fused silica glass rod in the flame in the same manner as the two previous rods. There should be no sodium flare and no sagging, slumping, or fire polishing. Remove from the flame and quench. The rod will not thermal shock and no cracks should occur. Consult the teacher's manual included in the Material Science Classroom Kit for discussion questions to ask before, during, and after the demonstration.